So continuing our discussion about 17 year cicada, cicada, let's talk about preparation. In our last discussion, we talked about they hit a pause for 17 years in their life cycle, that they take a break and get ready for 17 years. Now let's talk about the final preparation stage that we've been seeing happening here in the past few weeks. When the soil gets to a certain temperature, usually 68 to 72 degrees, depending on exactly where you are, your latitude of your location, the cicadas start to come out. Now they don't, they're not adult cicada yet. They're kind of like teenager cicada. They're, they're kind of like little uh, nymphs and moving into a uh, more adult shape. Think of them as teenager cicada. And they come out and they start to feed on the tree sap. They start to grow. Cicada are insects. They have an exoskeleton that expands and they shed that and then they can grow more, eat more, grow more, and shed that. Okay, so they go through a couple cycles of that before they actually get to adulthood. And a lot of people will think they found an albino, a white cicada. No, really, that's just one of the nymph shells. That's, you know, remember, it starts out as a white rice looking little larva, and as it grows in the ground, it comes out as a young white insect, okay, nymph, and continues to grow. And that's making its final preparations. Getting ready for what is its real purpose in life. Sometimes it's difficult for us to find our purpose in life. Sometimes it's hard to find, and maybe we're going to have multiple purposes in life, too. Think about that. Uh, when I was a kid, I went to an elementary school that had the multi-purpose room. That was a gym, cafeteria at that elementary. You know, it was the meeting room. It was the stage. It was the performance room. Okay, it was the multi-purpose room. I didn't understand that. I thought it was named for a former teacher who had died named Multipurpose. It was the Mrs. Purpose Room in my mind, in honor of her. Preparation. Getting ready to do the things we need to do in life. We learn a lot of our preparation comes from what we see around us and from what we experience, especially for caregivers and care receivers. The care we receive often leads us to be enabled to give care to other people. Modeling of care, giving, and receiving does that kind of thing and helps us prepare. Observing others, observing their actions gets us ready for when we have more events, maybe even crisis events in our life. How we react and respond often come from our preparation and our training and the skills that we see. Cicada don't really get any training. They operate on instinct, but they still have these final stages of preparation to get to adulthood. And uh, here's my little crafty cicada. I'm going to show you real quick that when the cicada get to the point that they're looking more like this with the reddish wings and eyes and the black body and the, the beautiful uh, luminescent kind of wings, transparent kind of wings. Now they're ready. They're about to get to the purpose. There's an obvious point where they're moving into adulthood.